from the KBTB studios at Parkdale Mall, this is your hometown news at 6. Good evening, Southeast Texas. I'm Jim Walker. And I'm Shelda Brigham. Up first tonight, thousands came out to pay their final respects to rap artist Chad Pimpsey Butler. Among the hundreds in the crowds were loved ones, fans, and well-known names in the music industry. 33-year-old Butler was found dead in his Hollywood hotel room on December 5th. The cause of death is still pending. But today was about remembering Butler and his contribution to music. KBTV 4's Raquel Duncan begins our team coverage live from the newsroom with more on today's service. Raquel? As hundreds came out to say their final goodbyes to Butler, they say his memory will forever live on. Tuesday, a hearse carried the casket of Chad Pimpsey Butler into the parking lot of Port Arthur's Bob Bauer Civic Center. Moments before, it was carried inside by active pall barriers, including Butler's son, Chad Butler II, and Bun B. I got to come pay my respects to a pimp, you know, grew up on his music. You know, 492, since them boys were way back in the game, you know. Without, the, without Pimp, there's no bun. Without bun, there's no Pimp. The boys a duo like Batman and Robin. About 1,800 people packed the center. Among the speakers were Jeff Sledge, who asked the mayor of Port Arthur a question. Mayor, I don't want to put pressure on you, but the next time I drive down here, I hope I can drive down Chad Butler Boulevard. Mama West, Butler's mother, spoke on behalf of the family, saying, from the bottom of my heart, I'm all right. You're all right, because he's all right. The mayor also paid her respects, holding back tears. Many say Butler spoke highly of his hometown. He loved it. He always, every record, every album, he mentioned Port Arthur. He's a hometown hero, as you see by the turnout today. He's a, he's a hometown hero for Port Arthur, Texas, and he put this town on the map. It's still UGK for life, so, you know, we're going we're gonna to definitely, you know, all these people out here, we're going to definitely make sure we represent it. As hundreds lined the streets, while the body of Butler was taken to his final resting place, many say he lived his life cut too short to the fullest. When it comes to naming a street sign after Butler in Port Arthur, the mayor did not want to comment at this time. Butler leaves behind a wife, three kids, mother, and a host of other relatives. Reporting live, Raquel Duncan, KBTV4. All right, thank you, Raquel. And uh, as we just saw, several well-known rap artists were among the hundreds of fans that bid farewell to Pimp C. And despite their celebrity status, stars and citizens alike faced heavy security at the, at the Civic Center. KBTV4's Erica English continues our team coverage with that part of the story. At the request of the family, security was in full force at Chad Pimpsey Butler's funeral Thursday. Uh, we're searching all purses, uh, metal detectors just for uh, the main thing, cell phones with camera phones, cameras, stuff like that. Um, uh, everyone wear proper funeral attire. They don't want any type of cell phones, any type of recording uh, devices, um, things of those natures, uh, nature inside the Civic Center. Port Arthur Police Lieutenant Martin Blitch says only a few days after Butler's death, law enforcement agencies began planning for the security, including Groves and Port Nature's police, the DPS, Jefferson County Sheriff deputies and constables. The FBI provided backup and placed marksmen on the roofs of nearby buildings. This is not a show. This is a respect for a gentleman who has passed away, and we want everything to go orderly. Well, we didn't know what the magnitude of the crowd was going to be, and everything was safety precaution. It, we weren't expecting any trouble, but to react if we did have any trouble. Jefferson County Constable Eddie Collins worked closely with the family to plan the funeral down to the smallest detail. The fans were allowed through the front entrance. The family, including close friends, rappers Bun B, Mike Jones, and Chameleon Air, went through a side door. Officers say it was important to keep security tight, not only because some of the famous people attending, but because this was one of the largest funerals in Port Arthur's history. Well, they got so many as fans who want to see them, you know, who bought every album. But they can't get in. And celebrities were no exception as one was almost turned away. They ain't letting, they ain't letting us in. They say we ain't dressed right. However, Webby was eventually allowed in to pay his respects with other artists such as Bun B, the other half of the Underground Kings, and Mike Jones. 
Oh, man, I had to show my respect. Man, Pimp C brought me in it, in the game, you know. Houston rapper Chameleon Air says Pimp C's talents will be greatly missed in the hip-hop industry. Man, it's just his personality, man, his spirit, his soul. Like, there's nobody that can duplicate that. It's a touch to everybody, so I just wanted to come out to get that support because he's definitely a true famous player, so I'm here for him. Butler's mother, who's affectionately called Mama West, hoped her son's legacy will live on through the music of other artists. Okay. He's going to leave a legacy that's, that's going to be very positive, and we're going to continue it, and, um, you know, we're going to try to keep the torch going, you know? Carrying the torch for the other artists inspired by the talented Port Arthur native. Erica English, KBTV4, Port Arthur.